The efforts of the Supreme Council for the Environment's Waste Management Department are focused on the management of waste resulting from the industrial sector. The hazardous waste from other sectors and the disposal of waste in an environmentally safe manner and in accordance with the provisions of the domestic legislation and international agreements. Bahrain generates more than 1.2 million tons of solid waste every year. Daily garbage production exceeds 4,500 tons. Municipal solid waste is characterized by high percentage of organic material, around 60%, which is mainly composed of food waste, presence of high percent of recyclables in the form of paper, 13%, plastics, 7%, and glass, 4%, makes Bahrain's MSW good recycling and reusing feedstocks. I think the waste is, is not a national issue, it's an international issue. It goes with the human activities. The number of waste has been produced, especially in foods, has been increasing. That's why Bahrain realized this issue and developed a national waste management strategy to reduce the amount of waste we're using and to recycle it and deal with it in a very professional way. Now we're developing a strategy that will combine the collection of waste, segregation of waste, recycle of waste, waste to energy, and last goes to the landfills. One of the main mandates of the Supreme Council for Environment according to the Environmental Law 21 for 1996 is the setting the strategies for waste in the country. Waste is one of the important and the main uh, environmental issues uh, worldwide. Um, the Supreme Council for Environment are responsible for uh, hazardous waste and uh, we have our uh, landfill. We are managing the uh, landfill at Hafira for hazardous waste. And since the early 2001, uh, we've been managing the landfill and we got an, an award uh, for the construction, of, uh, construction and the management of the landfill uh, once, uh, uh, by the time that uh, we started uh, the uh, management of that landfill. However, uh, all landfills are uh, being rec uh, regarded as a storage area or a temporary storage area. If we want to have a proper management for waste, uh, w our aim is not just to store the waste in the landfill. Uh, we are looking uh, ambitiously to implement circular economy. And uh, we are trying to uh, do our best in um, uh, utilizing the waste in other, uh, in, in other um, products and uh, uh, provide the uh, possible circulation for, uh, of the waste rather than just storing it in uh, the landfill. These efforts culminated in the winning of the Supreme Council for the Environment of the International Green Apple Award in 2005, granted by the UK-based Green Organization. The prestigious award was granted to Bahrain's Public Commission for the Protection of Marine Resources, Environment and Wildlife in recognition of its initiative to set up the Hafira site for the disposal of industrial waste and also for its initiative in providing a space for the safe disposal of hazardous waste. As you know, we're taking it in the waste management sector by sector. We started with the reducing amount of waste, especially the plastic waste. The municipality has started with the recycling of demolishing waste. Now we're going into more of reduction on plastic waste. We're looking at the recycling of the electronic waste. I think we've done a very successful story with Alba to develop a recycling facility for their own waste, costing a $50 million facility. So all these initiatives 
are under the management of the waste policies. The recycling plant is unique and uh, one of a kind in the region and will enable uh, ALBA to re uh, do all the required treatment for the spent pot lining and to export it to uh, other countries to be utilized in construction uh, as a construction uh, uh, raw material. Um, and the investment uh, that ALBA put on this uh, project are huge and uh, we are happy to uh, work together with the private sector and to achieve this success. Also, one of the major uh, success for us in this regard is uh, um, establishing the um, uh, healthcare waste uh, incineration, incineration unit. A uh, long time back, back at uh, during the 80s, um, there was one uh, incineration unit uh, attached to a, a Salmani uh, complex for um, for the treatment of uh, healthcare waste. But uh, we, we were able to have another uh, waste incineration company uh, to incinerate the waste according to international standards. And uh, since the 2001, we were, uh, we were monitoring the, uh, the healthcare waste incinerator and uh, um, ensuring the compliance of, uh, of the uh, incineration process. However, this uh, uh, early, uh, at the end of 2020, also we were able to uh, enact a new law um, regarding the uh, healthcare waste, which will also take the uh, treatment of healthcare waste to another level. Um, and it, it will be in, according, in accordance to the international um, requirements and standards in, the, in this regard. Bahrain is also a member in the Basel Convention, uh, which is uh, the, the convention uh, that concerns uh, it is the convention uh, that controls the movement of hazardous waste between, uh, through boundaries between countries. Uh, we've been also awarded for our compliance in the Basel Convention, and uh, we are happy uh, to. Uh, we were happy to convey our uh, experience in this regard to other countries um, uh, through the. Uh, uh, the ceremony that uh, was held to uh, provide uh, Bahrain with the award. Um, nowadays, uh, all the all the uh, uh, hazardous waste that are uh, going to be transferred from the country or to our country uh, is being uh, dealt with through the uh, Basel Convention. Uh, according to the uh, new. Um, new standards, uh, new waste uh, management standards, uh, some additional waste are being added uh, to the uh, hazardous waste uh, list. Uh, one of them is the plastic and plastic waste and uh, I'm sure that uh, through the media in Bahrain uh, um, the community are, uh, are getting to know the, hazard, the hazardness of uh, the plastic waste and why we are having our fight uh, to it. It's not only the oceans and not only the uh, creatures in the ocean that we care of. We do care a lot of uh, those creatures and we want our, our seas to be clean from plastic and uh, all other uh, hazardous uh, waste. But uh, also the availability of uh, plastic in the waste uh, means that we are, we are going to have it stored, either stored in our uh, landfill for uh, hundreds of years and uh, because it uh, simply it, uh, it won't dissolve, it, it, it will just remain there. It's a very durable material. Uh, and uh, if, we, if Bahrain is going to have uh, the waste uh, to energy um, facility that we are looking forward to have in the future, in the near future, inshallah. Uh, the, um, um, the incineration of the plastic will generate harmful uh, gases 
that will have the, uh, also a harmful impact on the health of uh, the, uh, the of the public health and uh, the air quality. The Supreme Council for the Environment will always support exerted efforts that provide an efficient service to collect, capture, and dispose of all the waste generated with constant determination to ensure waste reduction and recycling. I think we're, the main focus is going to be on plastics. We moved from the non-biodegradable to a biodegradable plastic bags. The next step is going to ban all single-use plastic bags. We'll start with the bakeries and we're going to ban it in all bakeries. We're going to reduce, to, to increase the sizes of plastic bottles and instead of the smaller ones, the smallest will be 200 ml of water. This, by this we reduce the amount of waste, plastic waste goes to the landfill. I think if you wanted to measure yourself on a national level, we should compare ourselves to the world. Our reports from the API, a consortium between the World Economic Forum and Yale University, shows the progress that Bahrain has been made on the ranking on the regional and on the, on the international level.